Hi guys, welcome to No Lanza Explains. Uh, today we're going to talk about smart control again. And like most of you, or a lot of you, have been waiting for uh, smart control in combination with the ultimate pedals. Um, it's not uh, all that different from smart control to sprint pedals, but there are some slight changes. Um, so let's first do calibration. Uh, when you buy the pedals uh, and when you first receive them, they will be pre-calibrated. Um, if you get the upgrade kit, you will already have your pedals, so you will of course have to uh, calibrate them yourself. Luckily, calibration is quite easy. When you open Smart Control, you just click on Start Calibration. You select the pedals you want. In this case, we're going to do all three. Uh, next step, and you just follow everything on the screen, but I'll, uh, I'll talk you through it. Make sure all pedals are in the rest position, so it uh, records what they are when you're not touching them. Then you press the throttle down and release it, click on the next, uh, next step. Do the same with the brake, to whatever uh, you find comfortable. Uh, next step, uh, press the clutch pedal all the way down again, and next step, and uh, at the end save calibration, and that's it. Uh, your pedals have now been calibrated, and they are basically ready to use. The next thing would be uh, the profiles. There's one thing a little bit different here from the sprint pedals, because uh, we use two types of rubbers for the uh, ultimate pedals, and there's a bit of a, a maximum force limit. Um, for the softer rubbers you'll get, it's 100 kilos, uh, and for the uh, harder rubbers it's 140. And you can select this in the screen. So only if you select the hard rubber, because you have the hard rubber installed, uh, can you uh, use the full 140 kilos. In the profile screens, as you might know already, you can change the curves, the uh, linearity, you can reduce the maximum output, and so on. I, I suggest just playing around with it, try different options for the cars you like, uh, and just have fun with it. When, you, uh, when you've made changes, uh, you can load and save these. Uh, for example, I have uh, one loaded now with uh, a slightly different brake output. Uh, let's make a small change and change the sensitivity of the throttle too. Um, all you have to do is save active profile to uh, pedals on EEPROM, the, bottom at the button at the bottom right. Um, and to save it uh, as a profile on your computer to use it again later, you uh, go to the top left, click on the uh, icon with the three bars, uh, and you click save active profile to disk. You will then see a Windows Explorer uh, screen where you can uh, give it a name and choose where you save it. Uh, click on save. Uh, and that's it. You can then also load profiles from the same screen. Uh, you click load profile from disk, select it, and, uh, and that's it. Hopefully this uh, uh, showed you everything about uh, the new smart control with the ultimate pedals. Um, if you have any questions, you can always email us at, at support at um, If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and see you next time. <laughs>